Do you guys want to create an amazing WordPress blog for free like this one that I'm showing you guys on the screen as of right now? In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create an amazing blog website like this without too much problems as a complete beginner. So if you're interested in that, keep watching and let's just get started right now. So here we are on WordPress. Now, depending on where you are in terms of building the website, if you still don't have access to WordPress, you need a free domain name. I recommend clicking on the link down below in the description. I've also made a video about how you can end up on here and get a free domain name. Now, after that, what you want to do is go to plugins and then click add new. So for this, we're going to be using Astra. So Astra is an amazing plugin that you can use to build simple websites and also blogs. So what you want to do is click install now on the starter templates one, make sure to stick around and then activate it. There we go. So this is the first step. Next up, if you scroll down, you can choose to click on see library. And what you can do is simply find a template that you would like to use. Now what I like is that you can choose your website builder. So you can go with Elementor, Beaver Builder, Gutenberg and Brizzy. So choose the one that you're always using. So I recommend going with Elementor. Next up, you want to make sure to filter for free because we, we do want to do this for free. And then what you can do next is check the block one. So you can see that for now for the uh, for the block category with Elementor, there's only going to uh, there's only one template that will show up. But if I go with, let's say, Beaver Builder, and then do the same thing. So go with free and then go with block. You can see for this one, there is no template. It really depends on which one you choose. And you'll find out soon. So here there are a couple more and there we go. So this is probably in terms of blogging, the best one to go with, but you would have to go with Gutenberg. However, I'm just going to do it for now. So what you can do is simply choose a template that you like. So I'm going to go with the travel blog, but you can also with pet care, motivational speaker, photographer, and just customize all of the content. So what you can do is click on it. You can then first of all um, preview it. So if you click right there, preview the website, you can see that this is then the specific blog template that you can use and customize. So I really like this one. It looks pretty good, pretty professional. So I'm going to go with this one. What you can then do next up is click import complete site in the bottom right corner and then click right there click import and then click submit. All right. So let me just do this. So I'm just going to do Gary. I built websites for and then for myself and then put in that email submit and start importing. So once you do that, it's going to import the entire template onto your own website. Now that means that after this is done, you've got yourself an amazing blog template that you can then fill and customize with your own content. So that means your own text, your own photos, your own videos, all of it. So, I'm just going to wait for this to go to 100% and then I'll get back to you guys and show you how you can customize your website. And we're done. Import it successfully. So right now I'm going to click on view site and there we go. This is now my website, which is pretty cool. That's pretty basic and pretty simple to do. But next up, we need to start customizing it to our own website because of course I'm not Melissa. You are not Melissa. You might not want to do a travel blog just like this with the pictures and stuff. You want to customize it. So if you click customize right there, it's going to send you over to the um, editor. Now in this case, it will send you over to the normal WordPress editor. If you want to use Elementor, what I recommend doing is simply going back to um, here and then adding Elementor as a plugin. So once again, go to add new right there, search for Elementor, just like that which is the website builder, click install now and you'll see Elementor website builder. As always, stick around to activate it and we're done. So I'm not going to do this and then go to pages. Then all you need to do is find the template, which in this case is the homepage one. So if you go to that and then if you simply go back, you should be able to click edit with Elementor. So I just need to refresh this probably because Elementor wasn't on here before. So if you click edit just like that, you'll then end up on here and you can click edit with Elementor and it's going to send you into Elementor. So Elementor is an awesome way to build your website. It's really basic, really simple. Anyone can actually try. I mean, anyone can learn it within just a few hours or even faster, but within a few hours, you can master a lot of stuff. That's what I'm trying to say for the basic things. All right. So what you can do now is simply choose 
to click wherever you would like to change um, anything to be honest so right there it says I am Melissa a travel blogger so I'm not Melissa so what you can do is get rid of the text right there type in I am how to digital and then I could say like video creator or tutorial maker whatever right simply type in whatever you would like to show up there and then right there it says explore the world with me so explore the world of tech that's what I'm gonna say explore the world of tech there we go so that's pretty much how you can start building your own website it's pretty basic right there you can change the images so if you click right there click edit and then you can change it so edit original or let me do it again replace and then upload your own image so maybe I would like this image right there to show up I'll select it replace click update and there we go should be good now let's see if that actually shows up yet I'm not sure what it, where did I click but it should show up right give me one sec let me preview the changes so you can also do that so I probably made a mistake somewhere through that process but what I also wanted to show you is that you can preview the website that you're making as of right now so yeah my bad I did it wrong anyway if you click preview changes right there you can see what the website currently looks like so you can see that as of right now I've got a pretty cool blog that's already set up I've got some different pages on here I've got the about page which you can customize by simply going back into your main pages and then instead of choosing the home page you would have to click on the about page which will show up right there let's see if it's this one yep it is so what you would do is click about click edit once again choose whether you would like to go with the normal WordPress editor or because WordPress is also pretty simple you can just select the text and then just type in whatever you like to have there right so WordPress is also fine and then click update and you'll be good to go so you can also select images just like that you can make these bigger or smaller whatever you can add media so that's pretty much how you can do it so what you would do is simply download Astra choose the blog template like I just did so that's currently this one so let me go to the actual website to show you what it currently looks like and then you can start filling it with your own content your own info and all of that good stuff so as of right now this is what my website looks like pretty basic but it works so this is a nice blog that I've uh, just set up in just a couple of minutes of course as of right now it's not customized with all of my own pictures and images but you get the point so this is the blog template simply go into the editors to start changing the text and then you're good to go to be honest and that's how you can build a free blog now if all of this is still not clear enough uh, which you can understand because it's kind of overwhelming let me know if you guys would like to see a full step-by-step -step tutorial from the beginning all the way until the end which is probably going to be like an hour or so but yeah let me know if you would like to see that in the comment section down below and then i'm probably going to make that video i just don't want to bore you guys with all of the like nitty gritty stuff in case you're not um interested in that but if you are let me know down below and then i'll see you next time